Next thing we're going to talk about is uh, wobbling, um, how to handle, possibly avoid any wobbling that you may have on a uh, motorcycle. Um, there's, there's, there's probably only two instances that I can uh, think of here. Uh, first one is um, potholes, different imperfections in the road. Um, we uh, need to be very aware of the road conditions, um, dips in the road, the, how the road is settled, uh, holes, etc. We're going to find a lot more potholes and uh, um, you know the road disintegrating up north because of the ice and the snow and the uh, salt that they put down on the roads. Um, really the main thing to do is to have both hands on the handlebars uh, it's probably not a good idea to be doing tricks or, um, you know, have one hand on the, on, on, on the throttle and have the other hand, you know, just out there doing something else. Um, really, safety's the first thing that we really should be aware of. Um, the second thing I may want to touch on with a bike like this, uh, the wheelbase is uh, extra long, the, the rake is... Uh, more severe than on a standard uh, Harley Davidson or Yamaha, some type of bike like that. And with wobbling, um, sometimes at um, at certain speeds, um, if you may hit something in the road, you know, possibly an imperfection or a hole, um, the front end may may uh, start wobbling a little bit just because of the extended uh, wheelbase and the extended rake on it. Um, your smaller bikes. Um, I would say would don't have that um, that possibility, that capability like these larger bikes do. Uh, I've owned several motorcycles, uh, Japanese, uh, American, and um, it seems like the uh, the Japanese motorcycles they do tend to handle a lot better um, um, in different situations and all. They're uh, made to really go at higher speeds and the handling on them, the suspension has to be uh, tuned very fine for that. But that's just a few tips.